The third stop on the Wiesman World Cup four-man bobsled tour. They move to the snowy track in Lake Placid, New York. Frigid conditions the last couple days. Big snowstorm this morning. Great Britain, John Jackson, seventh place here to the first run. Last week, he moved up three places. And on this day, Jackson posts great time down to the bottom, considering Jackson is coming back from Achilles surgery in July. He bests Melbardis and the Latvians. They finally stopped the sled into a snowbank. Now it's up to Nikita Zakharov, who had really never had a top 10 finish. And here at the end of the first run, he was the top Russian sled. He was in fourth place. But in the second run, Zakharov with a good start. He can't better John Jackson's time. And he has the 11th best time of the run. He falls six spots. Now it's Tommy Florsch or uh, Thomas Florschitz. Germany had a great drive in the first run. And here in the second run, on the bottom part of the track, he gives up time to Jackson, and Joe Jackson has moved into medal position. Here comes another German, Max Arndt. FES Berlin sled. Arndt, the reigning world champion of four-man bobsled. On the bottom part of the track, he can't chase down Jackson's time. Jackson has now won a silver medal. It's the Great Britain's first medal since the 98 Olympic Games in Nagano, Japan. And now Team Stephen Holcomb in the night train. Best start time in the first run. Best start time in the second run by a lot. And Holcomb losing time all the way down the track back to Jackson. The 2500s to play with and doesn't have the speed Jackson has but on the bottom part of the track Holcomb hangs on and wins his seventh straight bobsled race here in North America to open the season. Wow team Stephen Holcomb and the night train. Superman does it again. Holcomb, Jackson, Florschutz. Here's our final standings. What a day for Great Britain. World Cup standings, Holcomb pulling away from Max Arndt for the lead before the Christmas break. For FIBT Television, in Lake Placid, I'm John Morgan.